Everybody, and thank you for joining us here once again at the Love Land Living Planet Aquarium. Now, as you're not able to come to the aquarium, we are bringing the aquarium to you. A lot of you have had some interesting ideas and discussion on our Facebook and other social media channels about which will melt faster, ice in fresh water or ice in salt water. And here we are, we're going to find out. We're putting these into here, we've got fresh water over here and salt water over here. While we're relating them out, we're going to talk about some of the ideas that some of you had. Now, uh, some people had some ideas and thoughts about using ice or salt to melt ice on the sidewalks. That's true, we do use ice and salt there to get rid of each other. Some people were thinking about icebergs, uh, there was some talk about temperature and density. So we're going to take a look and see what's happening. If you take a look already, you can see that there is some difference. I'll put them right next to each other here, and we'll wait and see what happens. This might seem like a simple experiment, but it's one that can generate a lot of really interesting discussion, as we saw earlier. And it's one that you can try at home with yourself. Change around some variables, see if different amounts of salt make a difference, different temperatures of water. Do some experiments on your own and see what happens. If you take a look though, you can see already that the freshwater ice cubes are quite a bit smaller than the saltwater ice cubes. You might be thinking to yourself, wait, that's not what I was expecting, what's going on? In order to really see what's happening here though, we're going to need something to help us visualize things a little bit more, di a little differently. I have some food coloring, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just one drop of food coloring on each one, and we'll see what happens. So here's a drop of food coloring on the fresh water, and here's one on the salt water. So I put it on just one ice cube, and if you look, you can see it's moving around differently. The food coloring in the fresh water is going down to the bottom, but the food coloring in the salt water is sitting on the top. Now, we're going to take a minute. You go and go and pause the video, talk with your friends, talk to the people around you, see if you can come up with any ideas on what you think is going. All right, did you have a moment to discuss and talk with each other? What we're seeing here is differences in density. We might think that water is water, but the more you have in the water, the heavier it becomes. The water that's fresh water is the same as the ice cube, it will sink because it's colder and denser down to the bottom. With the salt water though, the fresh water melting from the ice cube is actually lighter and it's floating on top. We're getting a little layer right at the very top where it's cold water and it's keeping the ice cubes cold. We see similar things happen to this in the ocean. When you have cold currents, the water will sink down and move along the bottom of the ocean until it warms and rises. We also see this when we have rivers meeting the ocean. Freshwater rivers and estuaries where they meet the ocean have some amazing animals and varieties of plants because you have that little layer of fresh water sitting above the salt water. And if you look very carefully, when you, especially if you do it at home, you can actually see that fresh water sitting on top of the salt water. And one last check, you can see the ice cubes are definitely different. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed having the discussion about this. And we encourage you when you're doing science at home, not to just do it, but to talk about it. Say what do you think is going to happen and why. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow at 3 p.m. as you join the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium social media channels. Thanks and have a great day.